and welcome back to my channel my name is Monica Janae and before we get started make sure you subscribe like and turn the notification bell on okay thank you but anyway in this episode I'm going to be doing swatch and try on of the new Too Faced gingerbread palette so if you like to see continue watching okay so of course Too Faced decided to drop this palette out of nowhere it came out over the weekend Luckily, I got notification that it was released, so I went ahead and jumped on it. I got it from Ulta.com, and it also gave me a Tutti Frutti bag along with the purchase of this palette, which um, you can still get the bag if you purchase the palette before the 22nd, and that's the last day of the, you know, 21 Days of Beauty. But anyway, yeah, so um, I went ahead and purchased this palette, and of course, um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up comes with the palette in the inside and it has the card also has the um the little how to guide card which I seen I already opened this up so I already seen a look in here and I kind of want to try it but I'm not sure if I'm gonna try it yet but we'll get to that but anyway it comes with 18 shades which you know is pretty standard for uh, these Too Faced palettes um 18 shades of course a few of the shades um, do look familiar, you know what I'm saying? I have seen them in some of their past palettes or whatever. Nothing wrong um, to me with recycling them because if you buy the palettes, you know, in the past, of course, by now they might be old. So there's nothing wrong with recycling some of the colors, putting it back into the palettes because, of course, you're probably not going to rebuy the last palette that they came out with. You're going to most likely want to buy the new one. Because, of course, it's going to come with other different, other new different shades. So, nothing wrong with that. But, of course, it smells like if you already, you know, social media, whatever. Smells like, it smells like a gingerbread, but it really doesn't smell like gingerbread. I mean, it smells more like a sugar cookie. But it does smell really good. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start swatching this. Because, hey, that's what you're here for. We're trying to get to the point. So, let's go ahead and start the swatching. Before I start swatching, I'm going to go... I'm going to start from the top, which this is the top right here. I'm going to go in order, and I'm just going to start swatching. So let's go ahead and get started. First color is powdered sugar. So uh, this is powdered sugar. Get an idea of somebody that's pretty dark because I'm pretty dark. Next, um, next shade is spiced eggnog. These look good. Next color is Gumdrop, which is the color that made me want to get this palette. It's Gumdrop. Spice it up a little bit. Next color is Gingerbread. It's Gingerbread. Next color is Warm and Toasty. And then, ooh, burn. It's the last on this row. Looks pretty good to me. Frost bite me. Ooh, that's real nice. I like that. Next color is look at my cookie. Looky, looky, here comes cookie. Looky, looky at my cookie. Excuse me. Next shade is Spices. Nice. Right, let's give a little more. Spices. Nice. Next shade is Oh Snap. Next shade is Bake It Till You Make It. That's pretty. And the last is spice of life can't really see that one the spice of life that's the second row so the last row is sugar daddy figgy pudding hot toddy Oh, it's pretty. Reindeer paws. 
gingerbread latte and spiced rum oh it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess So I just finished doing the swatches. As you can see, very pigmented, especially against my dark skin tone. Also, I see two shades in here that I already find that's gonna be, they're very pretty shades, but I can definitely see that they're gonna be some really bad fallout because I swatched my arm and there's so much glitter left in my arm from the two shades, which is Frostbite Me and Spice Rum. Definitely pretty, very creamy. But it's definitely going to leave a lot of kickback. So that's just a heads up. Um, definitely want to make sure if you are a person that puts on their foundation before they put their, their um, eyeshadow on. Definitely set under your eyes because this does have a lot of kickback. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and do an eyeshadow look. I wanted to. um, I definitely want to do one out of the little guidebook that they put inside the box. But after swatching some of these colors, I don't know if I want to do that yet. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and just try something and just see how it goes from there. I mean, I not come up with a look or anything. I'm just going to freehand. I'm just going to freestyle, excuse me. So I'm just going to freestyle a look for right now. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already put some setting powder on to catch any eyeshadow that falls. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take this. E27 brush and just kind of use a transitional color and I guess I'll go in with the color gingerbread latte so the next um shade that I'm going to try is spices nice I'm just gonna put that in my crease next shade I'm going to go in is gumdrop this is the reason why I want this palette which I'm actually I actually thought this was like a pink and it's more of like a fuchsia which is cool but I mean it's I mean it's still a pretty color I just thought it was a lot lighter than what's actually showing up so I'm just gonna put that in my crease All right, so I'm having a hard time picking up the color Frostbite Me. Um, it's really creamy and just like a lot of fallout. And it's very, uh, it's like snow. <laughs> I probably I need to put some concealer or some eyeshadow primer down before I actually put this. And it is really pretty. Before I actually place this color on the lid. I mean this this right here has just like beyond the craziest kickback and like it looks like it's not even on my brush. Like you see it? It looks like nothing's on the brush, but when I actually put it on my lid, it shows up, which is crazy. Alright, so this the color Frostbite Me is definitely a, it's one of my favorite colors out of this palette but I can really see now that I won't be able to use this very often because it has a lot of fallout and probably after a couple of uses it won't be any left <laughs> inside of the little pan because it really crumbles like it's crumbling as I'm picking it up and I just probably tell it's not gonna be something I can use very often so Oh man, Too Faced, help work with me. I, I can see myself using this palette every day. I'm actually, I'm just more disappointed that the one color that I actually really like is giving me the most problems right now. Um, gosh, I'm 
maybe i'll try to figure out a way to use this all right so my card and my camera um was full so anyway that's a little bit of issues but let me finish my makeup and i'll be right back okay so i'm back i went ahead and put my lashes and eyeliner on i'm just gonna clean up a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and uh do the rest of the eye look i'm gonna do my under eyes because right now i got some things to say about this palette so i'm gonna take this eyeliner that i got from the beauty supply store um this is i don't know what it is but it's like a pink liner and i'm gonna underline my lower lash all right so i'm gonna go back into the color gumdrop and i'm gonna put that in the corner on my lower lash Next, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take some shadow from this Urban Decay uh, Gwen Stefani palette. Just gonna place a little bit on my cheeks. I'm going with this color here. So I have some pros and some cons about this palette. Obviously, the palette smells delicious, okay? Like, I smell fall and winter just right around the corner. <laughs> so, it does smell good. It has a very good color payoff. I loved every color in this palette. Like, I'm definitely going to use every color in this palette. Because usually a lot of palettes, I don't use every color. But I'm definitely going to try. I'm going to at least try to use every color in the palette. The formula is very creamy very pigmented so definitely don't have to worry about that um because i know sometimes people tend to say that um excuse me so i, I know a lot of times people say that too faced a lot of their eyeshadows tend to be chalky um i haven't had that problem with any of the shadows i ever purchased from them from well at least any of the palettes i ever purchased from them I've always been very um good but this here this gingerbread palette probably to me in my opinion is probably the best um I think it has like the best formula as far as um I mean I mean it could some I mean it could be like the other ones but I feel like the formula is really good in this palette here personally myself I feel like it's a little bit better maybe they never changed it but it just seems like it might be better my only con to this palette is the two colors that I love the most out of it which was frostbite and spice rum <sighs> we're gonna have to work on that Too Faced because these those two colors are well, excuse me those two shades are very pretty after a couple uses i don't know if this eyeshadow will last because of the fallout and the kickback like it's kind of crumbly it sucks because it's two of my favorite colors out of this palette but i mean i'm gonna work with it overall definitely give this a nine out of ten nine out of ten only because of the kickback from the two colors because they are really pretty colors just that kickback just killed it off for me but other than that 9 out of 10. Definitely pick this up. I'll link um, down in the description box um, the link to pick this palette up. I'll definitely, if you can't find it on sale or, you know what I'm saying, I know Macy's had it on sale, whatever. I don't know if they still have a um, discount code. But if you order before the 22nd from Ozo.com, you can receive the Tutti Frutti bag that came with the Tutti Frutti collection from Too Faced. So, I mean, at least you get something out of the deal. But other than that, this concludes this episode also before you leave if you've made it to the end which i hope you all made it to the end make sure you subscribe like turn your notification bell on and leave a comment down below especially if you have a question okay see you guys later bye